Hoki mai anō, welcome back. Superhero series Power Rangers is celebrating its 30th anniversary. To mark the occasion, some of the original Rangers are returning for a new adventure, spandex suits and all. Here's Wayne Chittleborough. Mastodon! Pterodactyl! Triceratops! It's hard to believe, but these teenagers with attitude have been saving the world since 1993. <laughs> Celebrate the three decade milestone, Netflix has released an anniversary special, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers once and always, and they've even brought back some familiar faces. It was an honour to go back and reprise my character, and um, I know the fans have been looking forward to seeing me, see me there again. I think it's... Uh... An exciting celebration of 30 years of Power Rangers. Obviously, Walter and I uh, started the franchise many, many years ago. So uh, this was uh, an exciting way for he and I to come back to the franchise. While they're no longer teenagers, time hasn't stopped these classic Rangers from performing their own stunts or donning those iconic costumes. I kind of fought to have the helmets come off and have Walter and I there to, to show a little bit of emotion. Uh, but through the process, I was, start, I was starting to regret that I had asked for that. I'm 56 years old. I haven't worn spandex <laughs> in 28 years. It's crazy. Um, but you know what? I, I feel like we, we put it off. When the show finally reached our shores in 1994, it was an instant hit with Kiwi kids. Although some parents and teachers weren't happy with the playground antics that it caused. They were jumping back and forwards off here, yelling out Power Rangers. Um, one of them knocked over the ironing board. The show was pulled from free to air TV here by the end of that year. But ironically, production of the franchise moved to New Zealand in 2002. And the series has been shot here ever since. Once and Always was actually filmed all around Auckland. Um, we had some studios out in Henderson and uh, also on location spots, including the cemetery here in Glen Eden. I think in the 30 days we were there, we probably had five days, five sunny days. But when we had them, I enjoyed them. I went hiking, I went out to the, uh, to the beach. But probably not in spandex this time around. Wayne Chittleborough, One News.